So the global market size of extended reality, which encompasses augmented and virtual reality, is valued at trillions of shillings, even as leading market players adopt this nascent technology to maximize profits. In Kenya, a group of young techies are now taking the e-commerce space to extraordinary levels by developing AR and VR solutions that provide interactive experiences for companies and their customers as well. Edward Chwea tells us about the Black Rhino VR, a venture specializing in extended reality. Made in Kenya, brought to you by Equity. Keep your business running with one Equity Till number. With your one Equity Till number, you now qualify for a merchant loan. Simply dial star 247 hash from any mobile network and follow the simple steps to apply. In a quiet compound in Nairobi's Westlands, a group of techies is busy meeting client deadlines. This is the home of Black Rhino VR, a venture specializing in augmented and virtual reality. Virtual reality is where we immerse someone into another virtual environment. Usually see this in games, at the malls and stuff, where they wear this uh, VR headset and they are transported to another world. Augmented reality is when you add a digital layer to something that's already existing. So for example, if you have a poster, a Kawaida poster that you see uh, in the street, when you scan the poster using your mobile phone, it comes to life. So you can have a lot of added information on your posters. You can put links. So that's the technology that we specialize in. Black Rhino VR started eight years ago when its founders saw how technology was revolutionizing the world. They put together a team of 16 techies specializing in this field and started selling the ideas to potential clients. We started as a small 360 video studio and now we have sort of grown our and diversified our portfolio to now, you know, virtual reality, of course, and, um, and augmented reality as well. It's something that you can use in any discipline or industry you're in. NGOs, telcos and manufacturers are some of the entities using the technology to maximize profits. Black Rhino VR is also offering free training to students interested in extended reality. A lot of the work we do is in communication solutions, marketing solutions uh, for a lot of F uh, FCMG, fast consumer moving goods um, companies, where they use it for, for advertising, um, brand activations. I'm a student at Strathmore. I'm doing international relations, but I'm interning at Black Rhino right now. So I figured out, like, why don't I use both international studies and the technology to go hand in hand with my whatever I'm doing. It's more than I actually ex expected. First, when I was introduced to everything, I was more interested in uh, the augmented reality. But the more I've stayed, actually, I've drawn myself towards the virtual reality, which is better the, the thing I work with international studies. Considering that extended reality is a nascent technology, Black Rhino VR relies heavily on word of mouth for business. A lot of people are yet to really know what it is, number one, and how it can be utilized and optimized. So a lot of the work we do is uh, we get it through referrals, but we also do our own small uh, micro-marketing through um, activations. We'll set up a lot of um, small events here and there where you'll see our stand. Despite this breakthrough, extended reality has its own challenges, among them the cost of adopting this technology. The scope of the work will determine um, how much the entire project will co cost. It's, it's quite a little penny because of how resource intensive the technology is. The cost of a headset can't be a barrier because the ones we have are currently using about $400 and not including shipping because we ship them from abroad. We want to bridge that knowledge gap where you know there's a, there's a disparity with our universities. Another thing is now building headsets that can use mobile phones. Edward Chea, Made in Kenya, Citizen TV. Made in Kenya.